Welcome to the GXDP300 training video on positioning for acquiring optimum panoramic or bite wing images. It's important to familiarize yourself with the various parts of the system. Included are the rotating unit, column controls, touch screen, easy position items such as the bite rod with attached bite guide, chin rest, head supports, hand grips, and positioning lasers. Finally, the exposure trigger, which either may be a handheld device or wall unit. The column control has the laser alignment lights button, up and down buttons, and a reset button. The touch screen selections include projection type, body size, no dose simulation, and additional settings. Displayed are system status and dose information. Set up the acquisition from within your imaging software. Prepare the system. Push the chin rest into the support holder. Place the bite guide onto the bite rod. Place bite guide rod assembly into the chin rest. Then place barriers onto the chin rest and bite guide. Fully open the head supports. Place barriers on the head supports. Next, press the reset button to position the rotating unit for the patient. Select the projection and patient size. Note, if small panoramic is selected, the width of the image is reduced. Prepare the patient. Ask the patient to remove any glasses, false teeth, jewelry, hair clips, and pins. Place a protective lead apron over the patient's shoulders. Make sure that the lead apron is situated high enough on the patient's neck. Press the up-down keys to adjust the height of the chin rest so that it is slightly higher than the patient's chin so that the patient will have to stretch up to place their chin on the chin rest. Ask the patient to step into the unit and grab hold of the hand grips. Excellent image quality such as the image displayed here is a result of careful attention to positioning. Ask the patient to rest his or her chin on the chin rest. For dentate patients, patients should place upper and lower anterior teeth into the groove on the bite guide. Have the patient close their eyes. Then press the laser button to initiate laser alignment lights. For mid-sagittal placement, verify that the patient's head is not tilted or turned to one side. For standard panoramic horizontal placement, use the up and down buttons to bring the patient's Frankfurt plane parallel to the laser. For bite wing projection horizontal placement, use the up and down buttons to bring the patient's occlusal plane parallel to the laser. If desired, laser lights can be raised or lowered before making adjustments to the Frankfurt or occlusal planes. For standard panoramic placement, adjust the chin rest either posteriorly or anteriorly so that the cuspids coincide with the laser. For bite wing projection placement, adjust the chin rest to the bite wing marker. Carefully push the head support towards the patient. Rotate the head support knob clockwise to close temple supports so that they gently but firmly grip the patient's head. Ask the patient to maintain a firm grip on the hand grips. Place your hand on the back of the patient's head to support head position. Ask the patient to step forward slightly. This positions them out of balance and hanging onto the support handles and forces them to stretch their neck as far as possible. This decreases spinal shadow on the anterior region of the pan. Check that the patient has not moved and is still in the correct position. Ask the patient to press their lips together and press their tongue against the roof of their mouth. Looking at a fixed point in the mirror will help them remain still for the duration of the exposure. The exposure takes approximately 12 seconds for a panoramic exposure and 6 seconds for a bite wing. Move at least 7 feet away from the unit and protect yourself from radiation. Make sure that you can see and hear the patient during the exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button for the duration of the exposure. During the exposure, you will hear an audible signal and the exposure warning lights will come on. The rotating unit will move around the patient's head and then stop. When the rotating stops, the exposure has been taken. After the exposure, release the head support and assist the patient in getting out of the unit. Follow the instructions in the manual for decontamination of system parts. Note, for edentulous or partially edentulous patients, be sure to use the appropriate positioning device. For more information on proper positioning and usage of the GXTP300, please consult the user manual.
Thank you for watching and please visit www.gendex.com for more Gendex instructional videos.